I look back at the age of 53 and I say, I got more good days behind me than I got in front of me. So what I got to do now is I purpose my life to make sure those days that I have in front of me, they count. And what makes them count is the fact that when I get up and I look at my son's picture, that little boy that's inside of me, I realized for the 21 years that he lived, a great part of my life is inside of him. Where he was murdered by a gang member in uh, 2009. He had just turned 21. This work I do now very much has everything to do with my relationship with him and what I believe that he whispers in my spirit, Dad, help him. Don't turn your back on him. Here we have uh, a tree that I use for a marking, how to get to my son's headstone. You look around at the other trees here, most of them are bearing leaves, to be green or whatever. This one here does not have leaves. There's life in this tree, you just can't see it. It has roots and whatever form of life it can provide, it is providing. There's life here, you just have to look a little deeper to find it. Last week would be five years. Life can never be so busy where I can't take the time to come here with, with the memories of my son. I'd rather have my son, obviously. However, I realize that there's a calling on my life. I have to trust in God and trust that he, you know, he's got my back and what I'm doing and trying to get young men to realize that they have self-worth, that life is worth living, that we should love each other and not hate and kill each other, and that as a community, there's a lot of healing that needs to take place. The truth of the matter is that when you allow yourself to get engaged, really get engaged with young people, there's a, there's a give and take situation. They're not so much what we say, they're always watching what we do. And if we examine ourselves based upon what our children, how they're living, one could safely say, you can tell the health of a community by the life of the children.